The 36 petition calculators campaign workers hired to collect signatures submitted fraudulent petitions sheets consisting entirely of invited signatures according to the Bureau. In all, according to the Bureau's report Monday, these circulators submitted at least 80, uh, 68,000 invalid signatures across nominated petitions for 10 candidates. Just go out and fucking get people to sign. Fuck. That's all you have to do. I want to say thank you to each and every one of my Patreons that help support the channel. I want to say if you want to help support the channel, get this content to more people, hit that Patreon link, or go ahead and subscribe to me on Twitch. Thank you for watching the show and supporting, and here we go. GOP, like, okay, for a group of people that's so worried about Stop the Steal and all that other good bullshit, that was a total lie. Bam! The leading GOP candidate for Michigan governor could be, I could be disqualified over a wave of fraudulent signatures. I, I, okay, okay. Ironically, GUV. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, a signature forgery schedule has turned the, the race for the GOP nomination for Michigan's next governor on its head. The two leading Republican candidates did not connect enough signatures to qualify for the primary ballot after invalid signatures were excluded. Report, according to the report from the state's Bureau of Elections, the Bureau of Elections report now go to the board of the state and canvassers, which will vote. Thursday, in which the candidates qualified to appear on the ballot for August 2nd primaries. The 36 petition calculators campaign workers hired to collect signatures submitted fraudulent petitions sheets consisting entirely of invited signatures, according to the Bureau. In all, according to the Bureau's report Monday, these circulators submitted at least 80, uh, 68,000 invalid signatures across. Nominated petitions for 10 candidates. Just go out and fucking get people to sign. Fuck. That's all you have to do. Oh, God. Oh, lost the place right there. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, the, uh, uh, James Craig, pictured above, a former Detroit police officer, submitted more than 11,100 invalid signatures and just under 10,200 uh, valid ones. According to the Bureau's reports, man, fuck the police. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, yes, yes. Another candidate, Perry Johnson, submitted 14,000 valid signatures, not enough to make the ballot, and over 9,000 invalid signatures. The same group of petition circulators who submitted thousands of invalid signatures for a Craig's nomination, did so for Johnson's. I was just pencil whipping this shit. Oh, shit. The three additional Republicans gubernatorial candidates also fell short for the valid signatures needed to qualify for the Bureau said. The one Michael Brown, Michael Markley, uh, Markey, and Tata Brandenburg each submitted well more than 15,000 signatures but in all three cases, more than 10,000 were deemed invalid. But wait, people love Republican ideas. <laughs> oh, shit. Candidates need 15,000 valid signatures to evolve, qualify for the gubernatorial primary ballot, which were allowed to submit up to 30,000 for review. Gubernatorial candidates also need a, at least 100 signatures from at least half of the state's congressional districts. Prices for, a signature, prices for a signature gatherer spiked this cycle, including pressure on the campaign as they race to meet the qualifying figure. The ultimate decision for the candidates qualifying, qualifying for office is up to the Michigan Board of State 
a canvasser, which is made up of two Democrats, two Republicans, and it, he stirs it. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is awesome. This is fucking awesome that the people who actually why the bishop most about cheating literally get called cheating. Uh, Michael, uh, where were I? Uh, it is the boards of state campuses head of the Bureau of Election Report and disqualifies five out of ten Republicans gubernatorial contenders, which can open the door for Tudor Diskin, who was deemed the, uh, denied that Joe Biden won the Michigan in 2020 election and on Monday received endorsement from a wealthy, devout family, Michigan's most influential uh, political key makers, Dixon, notably was also the only candidate to receive a shout out at Donald Trump's rally in Michigan last month. The former president called her fantastic and brilliant. Oh, did, did those other candidates get pulled a fucking Madison Cawthorn has some shit leak about them because reasons. Um, <laughs> at least one campaign vowed to fight for their qualification Monday night. The staff of the Democratic Secretary of State does not have the right to unilaterally void every signature obtained by the alleged by the alleged forgers who victimized five campaigns. Wow, jo John Yob, a consultant for. Johnson wrote on Twitter, adding, we strongly believe they are refusing to count thousands of signatures from le legislative voters who signed the petitions and look forward to winning this fight before the board, if necessary, in courts. The they, That appeared to be the response that the, to the Bureau's statement that due to unprecedented scale of invalid signatures issued this year, staff did not review every petition sheet individually Rather than they isolated those sheets submitted by the petition circulators who were who work they deemed was fraudulent and concluded a target signature check to confirm that the circulars submitted. Like this is just fucking awesome. Like, how is it that again some of the people who cry and complain that I don't know other parties cheat are the main cause of the cheating. Like, this shit is just, this is, shit is hilarious. Oh my God, oh my God. I, I can't, I can't with these people. I fucking can't. But anyway, guys, anyway, guys, this has been another case of Republican incompetence. And I, I don't know what else to say. Wow, fuck. How five of the 10 gubernatorial candidates in fucking Michigan get disqualified for fucking cheating. That's awesome. That's awesome. If I gave myself a power, where would I